Back. This is Mr. Hassan's mass channel. Um, I'm now answering question number five from the January 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. This question here is about trig identities and equations. Uh, we start off here with a proof. We have got to prove that cot squared x minus tan squared x equals 4 cot 2x cosec 2x. So we see we can either start from the right hand side and show how we get the left hand side or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to start from the left hand side. I don't see any other, any one of them being easier. But what we have to try to realize is when we're dealing with such uh, functions, um, you know, we can't see the whole journey ahead of us from the beginning. It's impossible for us to see every step of the way, but we have to use some sort of logic here, right? Some sort of um, kind of, it's not just all guesswork, all right? So what, what I'm going to do first, seeing as we're going to have things in terms of cosec, which is one over sine, and we're going to have to go from a, a single angles to double angles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite cot squared x as cosine squared x over sine squared x because it's the reciprocal of tan squared x and i'm going to write tan squared x as sine squared x over cosine squared x all right so i've taken the first part of this so i'll start off by writing this so i know that cot squared x minus tan squared x gives us this now we can see that our answer is one term, and what we're starting off is with two separate terms. So what I could do here is I could combine these together into one term by making the denominator the same. So the denominator, the common denominator would be sine squared x times cosine squared x, sine squared x times cosine squared x, and the numerator therefore will be cosine to the power of 4x minus sine to the power of 4x. Okay, so now, the next thing I can see is in the numerator, I have a difference of squares. This is like cosine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine squared x plus sine squared x, a difference of two squares. So the square root of cosine to the power of 4x is cosine squared x, Likewise, for sine to the power 4x is sine to the power of 2x. So I have a difference of squares, which will help me. And in the denominator, I know I have to end up with double angles. All right, cot 2x, cosec 2x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of this as being sine x times cosine x all squared. Okay, because I know there's an identity which is sine of 2a equals 2 sine a cosine a. And that kind of will help me in this, in this regard here. Because then I can say that sine a times cosine a is a half sine a. If I rewrite that, a half of sine a, sine 2a will be sine a times cosine a. So I can replace this with a half sine 2x. And that I want to have a double angle because this has a double angle in it. Right, double angles. Now the other thing I can I can I know that is cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals one. So that's going to become one. You don't have to write that anymore. It's going to be one. And cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Well, that's the other thing I should know for my double angles. That cosine two a, the cosine of two a, is equal to cosine squared a minus sine squared a from the double angle formula again because cosine 2a is like cosine a plus cosine a sorry cosine a plus a which is cosine a cosine a minus sine a sine a cosine squared a minus sine squared a so this i can replace with cosine this can be cosine of 2x and in the denominator this is going to be um a half of sine x cosine x all squared uh, sorry a half of sine 2x all squared half of sine of 2x all squared all right so this is going to be cosine 2x over a quarter 
sine squared 2x. Okay, so we're almost there now. So this is when you divide by quarter, it's like multiplying by four. So I'll have a four. And this will be cosine of 2x over, and here I have sine of 2x, and I have times sine of 2x, because sine squared x is sine, two, sine 2x times sine 2x. Now, this is like a 1 on top, you could say. So you could write, you could think of this as 4 times cosine 2x over sine 2x, okay, which is cot 2x, times 1 over sine 2x, which is cosec 2x. And that's exactly what we had to show. 4 cot 2x cosec 2x. So this gives us 4 times cot 2x times cosec 2x. All right, so it's very important that you show your steps very clearly all the way because they've told you what you have to show it is equal to, of course. And so you have to clearly, that's why I clearly show the steps all the way. So again, I, I had no idea from the beginning of this question how I'm going to finish off the question. We just knew a few things that we have to think in terms of making double angles. So that's why I was thinking in terms of this as sine x times cosine x, that I can use this, uh, you know, identity. And then also the difference of two squares here, that becomes one, that becomes cosine 2x. Once you've done that, the rest is pretty clear. And there's the answer to part A. Okay, part B, we probably will use this um, proof. We'll probably need this. So I'm just going to make sure. We, do we have it on the other side? Oh, I already have it there anyway. Okay, then for part B, it says, hence solve for theta between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, the equation 4 cot 2 theta cosec 2 theta equals 2 tan squared theta, giving your answers to two decimal places. All right, so I, I see that this is kind of similar to this, except the instead of 2 theta, you got 2x, that's all. Um, and it seems it can be replaced by cot squared theta minus tan squared theta, because this is double and this is single. So I can replace this with cot squared theta, because this is theta now, times or minus tan squared theta theta and that's equal to 2 tan squared theta so i've got something like this now let me try and um work out how to solve this equation i want to express them all with the same ratio well i know this is 1 over tan squared theta minus tan squared theta equals um 2 tan squared theta so I can add these together, actually. So I'll have 1 over tan squared theta is equal to, that's going to be 3 tan, tan squared theta. And I can multiply both sides by tan squared theta. So in fact, I'm going to have 3 tan to the power of 4 theta equals 1. So I can say tan to the power of 4 theta equals 1 over 3. So now I can say that tan theta tan theta is equal to the fourth root of one third. And you're going to have a positive and negative because, yep, positive and negative. So we'll end up with two answers. So we'll end up with uh, tan theta is either equal to the fourth root of one over three or tan theta is equal to negative the fourth root of one over three. Okay, so we will find what solutions, and our solutions are between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Okay, so we have to be in radian mode. So take the calculator, make sure we're in radian mode. Okay, and we're going to put the fourth root off. So shift this button, fourth root of one third. Okay, so I'm, in fact, I'll do it like this. Inverse tan of um, the fourth root of third.
Okay. That gives us in radians 0 0.6497, 0 0.6497, theta 0 0.6497. It continues on. Okay, that's one solution. Okay, and the other solution is we have to go from pi over 2, minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So let's have a look. We've got from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, so this is going to be, um, if we work that out, I'm going to store this answer as A so we get it saved. So if we do pi over 2, pi divided by 2, that gives us a value of 1.57. So we're going to go to 1.57. That's our limit there. Our limit here is minus 1.57. So of course this is within the range, but I want to see if other angles are in the range. So I'm going to recall my answer. Okay, and I'm going to add pi to this. And that gives me 3.79, which is, of course, outside of the range. Of course, it would be. And if I subtract pi from this, subtract pi again, I get minus 2.49, which is also outside of the range. So this is the only answer in our range. So theta equals 0. Point, and they want us to round it to two decimal places, 0. 0.65. That's one answer. And the other one is when we put inverse tan of this in the calculator. So we're going to put, um, go back to what we had before. Okay, so here I'm going to replace this and put a negative in front of the whole thing. Okay, and then I'll press equals and that gives me minus 0 0.6497. Minus 0 0.6497. Okay, so theta is going to be negative 0 0.65, which is also in our range. Our range goes from minus 1.57 to 1.5. So of course, if I add 3.42 to both of these, they're going to be outside of my range. So those are the two solutions. Okay, they're both the same value but opposite signs. And that concludes question um number five from this yep yeah, that's the end of question number five from this question from the june 2000 january 2023 sorry paper p3 um other questions from this particular paper can be this that will be over here other questions from trig identities and equations in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can over here which will take you to uh, which will tell you how to use my channel in a um, efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.